we have seen the physical address generation now for this how the physical address generation we have seen that by 16 bit data stored in the segment register and 16 bit offset address stored in the instruction pointer now for this purpose in the bus interface unit we are having one adder and we are having that adder to be provided the data from code segment register data segment register stack segment register or instruction pointer so for generating physical address that is 20 bit address this adder use the contents of segment register and instruction pointer and from this the 20 bit physical address is generated now apart from that in the bus interface unit we can see one more block that is instruction queue now what do you mean by instruction queue that we are going to see and how it is being used now 8086 employs parallel processing parallel processing means simultaneously doing two or three different operations now which how these operations are being defined in 8086 now when execution unit is busy in decoding and executing current instruction buses of 8086 may not be in use now we are having two blocks that is execution unit block and bus interface unit block now when execution unit is performing some operations for a example some arithmetic operation some logical operation or data transfer operation at that time it is not working something on the external buses so using this external bus along with the execution unit it incorporates the parallel processing so at that time bus interface unit can use the buses to fetch up to six instruction byte cube from the following instruction so when the execution unit is doing something bus interface unit bus interface unit fetches some six instruction bytes and this instruction bytes are being stored in the instruction queue so bus interface unit stores these prefetched bytes in the p4 registers called as instruction queue so whenever the next instruction come to the 8086 microprocessor through bus interface unit it is firstly stored in 6 byte instruction queue and it is of the form first in first out now what do you mean by first in first out is whatever the instruction come first that is being provided to the execution unit first and when the first instruction or the first byte of the instruction is provided the second the next further bytes of the instructions are being provided to the instruction queue now when the execution unit is ready for its next instruction it simply reads the instruction from the queue in the BIO so altogether bus interface unit does not send the address to the external environment or external world through the address bus so it just extracts the information from the instruction queue which is being available in the bus interface unit so bus interface unit with the help of instruction byte queue instruction byte queue fetches some instructions store it into the instruction queue and execution unit takes the instruction from the instruction queue and provide it to the execution part now apart from that with the help of this for using this simultaneous operation the pipelining is being used so execution unit of 8086 does not have to wait in between the BIO to fetch next instruction byte from the memory so execution unit simply takes the data from the instruction queue which we have discussed so the presence of queue in the 8086 speeds up the processing so instead of using some time for sending the address it is being already fetched into the instruction byte queue which is being provided to the bus interface unit which saves the time for fetching the data and fetching the next instruction while the current instruction executes is called pipelining so in pipelining whatever the main operation will be performed by execution unit execution unit performs can be the data transfer or data transfer operation or arithmetic operations or some uh, logical operations so for that it needs an instruction but that instruction is being stored in the memory so for that address is to be need to be sent but execution unit is not part of that sending the address so whatever the address sent 
that is being sent by the bus interface unit. Bus interface unit itself extracts that information, store it into the instruction queue and whatever the operation required or whatever the instruction required for the execution unit that are being available in the pipeline. So once the first operation is being performed, whatever the operation to be performed next, that is being pipeline in the next bus interface unit and execution unit. So in this lecture, we have seen the contents of or concept of 806 microprocessor segmentation, different segment register, different physical address generation unit and the units of bus interface in it and how these are being used for incorporating the parallel processing and pipelining. Thank you.